by Vince Carter, trying for their second straight upset in these 2001. When he shoots the three well, he stretches the court. He's basically unguardable. When he's human, doesn't shoot the three as well, his team has lost. Of course, led by Allen Iverson, MVP in the regular season, continuing that impressive play in the postseason. Been an undulating performance since then. Today is the upswing game. When you are the MVP. A 6-6 forward from North Carolina, number 15, Vince Carter. A six-foot guard from Georgetown, number three, Helen Iverson. And Doug, he looks like he's ready to play. You know what? A few jump shots early, the teammates will forget that he was not here with the team last night. If he plays great, <laughs> they will love him. Danny Crawford, one of the premier officials of the game, throws it up. What you live for, what you train your whole life to play in these moments. Anxious, not nervousness. A uh, loose ball foul call against Tyrone Hill. I think whoever says they're not nervous is not telling the truth. But Timbo wanted a foul. Iverson with the steal. Goes inside. See, that's what you want if you're Allen Iverson. You're coming off a 6 for 24 game. Get yourself an easy one start to fall so get him to the foul line get him some layups and his his shot is easy to read Carter on the follow and it's Carter with his first two points and the Raptors <laughs> will get it everybody begging out there playing at home though will help tremendously fourth shot Vince able to get it back on the second effort uh, Carter both his field goals on uh, tip-ins after misses and the Raptors within two in a long three. Plus, I think having the poor game on Friday night in game six will also be an edge to Iverson. Well, no question. You're at home and you get a couple easy baskets. Now you hit a three. That basket starts looking real big if you're a shooter. Sixers by three. Allen Iverson seeing a lot of double teams once again, Doug. Oakley is back. Blocked from behind by Carter. Charles Oakley, good defensive play, but then throws it away in the wrong spot. That's a cardinal sin on those passes. Charles Oakley does not have great balance, uh, Bill, when he gets a lot of those rebounds. He gets himself falling forward. One and you're out. That's certainly the case in game seven. And Philadelphia off to a good start. Both guys are playing. Williams way short on that three. The scramble and a jump ball. Good effort from both teams here in the early going. Carter with six on the shot clock. Knocks it down. Oh, oh. No, no defense whatsoever to that. I mean, Vince Carter just too good. Explosion, explosion. Catch and shoot without even seeing the rim. That's why it's so important to get him to catch. That's been one of the incredible things about these 50-point performances is McKee is foul. Carter's playing against McKee. Philadelphia better get to him as soon as he gets. <laughs> <laughs> Carter's spinning inside, and there's the foul. And the Raptors will shoot their first Tim Duncan, David Robinson. When those guys have the ball, people are standing. People are walking. Toronto has much more playoff experience than Philadelphia. You mentioned Tyrone Hill's experience. I think get to the hoop, try to get a, a free throw attempt. Davis from way outside. Matumbo altering that shot. And that will end the first quarter. A strong one. Slow down the fast break. Then they give up an offensive rebound. Curry throws it away. Yeah. For you to talk to McTumble. Postseason winning game five at Madison Square Garden in the first round. Well, they forced Philadelphia to miss some shots. You see, only two of seven. They took quick shots, and that plays into the hands of Toronto. Get on the offensive board, and then when all breaks down, give it to Allen Iverson. Carter fouled. Of course, as we've done the Philadelphia games over the course of this season, but if Toronto wins game one, would be in Milwaukee. And a foul called on Buford. Carter dishes to Alvin Williams. Williams can't connect. Carter fighting inside, and a loose ball foul is going to go against the Sixers. And Jermaine Jones, that'll be his first eight assists in the game here in the first half. Iverson upset with the foul call, but he picks up the personal Sixers eight-point lead. Two and a half left, first half. Use of the word lumber. <laughs> Iverson off the turnover. 
You can't come out of a timeout and turn the ball over. Iverson missed nine straight shots, and you give him a layup to push the lead to 10. As a coach... A minute and a half left, second quarter. Iverson, the floor. Oh, pretty shot from Allen Iverson. Yeah, the hesitation, he comes in. Looks like he's going to spin back for his patented turnaround, but then just turns it on. Where they have had leads or they've been behind and they have not finished quarters well, even with leads, they've allowed Philadelphia back in the game. What they've allowed here, Bill, is Philadelphia to push this. Hopefully the rebound, still five seconds left. Carter releases, fouled by McKee. And Carter will shoot two as Aaron McKee picks up his second. What a play by Charles Oakley. And he started the game playing well. With David Robinson has to play more than 30 minutes. I agree. But yesterday, Bill, they were up five when they took him out. <laughs> McKee gets it off the top. Oh, and it comes up short. And that will end the first half. Superior contributions of Allen Iverson. Vince Carter only getting 10 shot attempts. Does have four nice assists. Bill, you talked about it in fits and spurts. And when you're on the road using that kind of energy, Iverson and Carter frequently throughout this series. I'm up and down this court. I want that ball every single time. And I am going to set a pace that no one else can manage. 10 assists to the game. And we're early in the third. Carter puts it in. Carter has extended their defense as well. Nice ball fake from Iverson. He gets hit hard as he goes down. The tumble blocked from behind by Davis. The tumble gets it again. And a foul call on Antonio Davis. You just want to throw it up over the top. Throw it up soft because as people are lunging at you. So again, the Raptors within two. But Iverson puts it back to four. And there's your turnover. Iverson running the floor. And the Sixers go back up by six. Got to be Vince Carter time right now. Vince Carter was too unselfish. Last year in the first round loss to the Knicks. Trainer Lenny Courier was icing his left tailbone there, Iversons, during the timeout. As that now it's a leg fest with the Lakers. Alvin Williams blocked by Iverson. He got a piece of it. The Raptors run on a goal tent, and McKee comes down the other end, and a loose ball foul call. It's going to go against both these teams have really had to deal with injuries. Carter. Now, that's the greediness you were talking about. Just take that ball, put your head down, look everybody else off, and get the bucket and the foul. He looked like he got away with a travel Yes, he on did. One. Yes, he no did. No way. That was perfect. <laughs> I want you to fake the pass. One, two. Limpy hanging. You see the importance. He picks up his fourth foul, and the Toronto is... Carter. Snow defended it beautifully, and a jump ball. Eric Snow's initial defense forces that jump ball. See, one of the things you were talking about, Allen Iverson. Carter against Snow. That's a three. Peterson trying to keep it alive, and he caroms into Iverson. And now Iverson will shoot two free throws as Peterson picks up his third. Well, that was a great hustle play by Mo Peterson. A lot of pressure now on Vince Carter. With Davis on the bench. Here comes Snow, final seconds, and a pound of the goal! Oh, just off the back of the rim. As you hear the ooze from the crowd, and that will end the third quarter. The Sixers, no field goals. Of course, San Antonio and L.A. in the West. Milwaukee earlier today advanced to the East. In for the uncontested dunk. Carter goes right at the top oh, with the left hand. Oh, what a shot. Four-time Defensive Player of the Year, Vince Carter with a spectacular left-handed drive. Carter with 18. Matumbo, Jones, and Snow out there for the Sixers. And a whistle of legal defense. Beneficiary of some terrific passes from Allen Iverson. Well, look at Allen Iverson, only 7 of 23. Look at the 14 assists. That willingness to give it up and not try to force everything to battle through the injury. Ball tip, tip, the second, third jump. Iverson with the floater. Sixers back up by five. Lenny Wilkins needs a timeout here. Got to draw a play up so Vince Carter can get a shot. They have not allowed Vince Carter to touch the basketball here with their pressure defense. You're not worried about your percentage. You're now eight for 24. Carter splits the defenders, gets inside, and he 
he's hammered. <laughs> Bob hammered, and he'll shoot too. You're talking about putting your body in harm's way. <laughs> You know what? What it must feel like to be able to jump that high, to be able to hang up long enough to be able to do that. Look at this crossover, and he gets in the air. But it doesn't seem like it's had any effect in terms of what he's done on the floor. I agree with that. I, this has not been a distraction. Don't look and say that he's 6 for 17. They've been swarming him, but more importantly... Those 16 assists, the most he's had in the regular season or the playoffs. Curry for three. Way short, and Iverson with the rebound. Yeah, he shot that one a little bit too quickly. Right now, he's having a difficult time. Ball knocked loose. Carter tripped up. Crowd wanted to travel. Curry for three. Bam! Oh. El Curry from downtown, <laughs> and it's a one-point game. Now, Bill, you want a child's no, in the game. No wonder he's in the game. <laughs> 52 seconds remaining. Great plays, great defensive sequences, that big three. Terrific coaching, and players have really come into their own. But with 3.6 seconds to go. Sixers by one, Raptors with the ball. Carter nearly falls down, and there's the foul again. McKee waited. Sixers by one, but the Raptors with the ball. Two seconds to go. Carter trying to get free. Carter at the buzzer. No go. And the Sixers hold on and advance to the conference finals. The celebration begins. The Toronto Raptors coming one shot short of a huge upset here in the second round of the playoffs. Carter finishes with 20 points, nine assists. Um, I missed a shot, but my teammates just kept fighting. That's what having teammates is all about, you know. They came through me, you know, I struggled all game, and they came through like they supposed to.